Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say good evening and welcome to uh, Cory, Queens of Reggae Island Honorary Ceremonies for 2016. We'd like to apologize for the late start of the program, but we would like to move ahead. We thank you very much for being here with us this evening so that we could honor some females who have made a mark in our industry and that is why we are here this evening we get started immediately we want to get into the program and move as fast as we can through the program that we have for you we'd like to start off with the st andrew high school girls choir as they do the fight song St. Andrew High School Choir with their fight song. Give them another round of applause if you will. Thank you very much. We get to our fourth honoree at this point in time. And again, as usual, let's go to the video. Cultural Center Dance, JA, groundbreaking dancers. 
As a child, I always loved dancing. Um, I always been attracted to dance. So I'll be my dance. Being Jamaica, being the dance makeup for dance, so I've always been interested in dancing, and I've always been entering competition, and I've always won. <laughs> so I think that's a sign, that's a natural gift from God. Early school days, being on stage, being involved with every little sort of entertainment there is, whether it be dancing or drama or whatever, and. Um, it basically grew on me and I could not see myself anywhere else so my passion continued with me through primary, through high school. Leaving high school I fell in love with the street and basically continued to a level of where it is that I am now. You know the journey it obviously is going to be challenging as women because you have men that trying to look you up and the men you're not thinking that you're just an object, a sex object, but we stood above that and we rise above that. So what we give ourselves talent. credit for that. So people would think that, okay, the peak is like, no, but I consider having my peak a couple years ago. This is when I came on the scene in the dance hall and people started knowing first class dancers, Latanya style, all of that. and started to get shows overseas, started to tour with the artists as backup dancers, all these stuff, it was like a peak for me. I don't even reach the peak, I want to reach another peak and there's many mountains to climb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't agree with that. I mean, there's points in life that you're really grateful for and appreciate, and I am appreciating. I mean, I'm only 28 years old and the amount of experiences I've gained so far, I am really blessed and overwhelmed and privileged and everything. For us to be recognized and honored today for our effort in putting Jamaica on the forefront. Because you know our name dance Jamaica. So even our name of Big Up Jamaica straight up, right? We really feel happy. We really feel excited. No, we never know it then. No we <laughs> Our fourth honoree, Dance Jamaica Company. We would like to welcome them and we'd like to ask Tracy Johnson to come forward and assist in this presentation. Dance J.A. for you as well from our sponsors and we make sure that you also get a bottle of Remy all right <laughs> And congratulations to you. Who's going to have a word at the uh, microphone? Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming to show us support, all, us as in all the women. And I know there's other women in here as well that's deserving. Thank you, Night Nurse Production, Maya Laurel. She's an artist, by the way. I don't know why she hated it. <laughs> but big up yourself. We really appreciate it. We are humbled by it. And we just hope that it will go on forever. And as Carleen said, the fact that you honor us while we're alive is just so amazing. And just thank you, everybody. Can we go? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and congratulations to you all. Latonya Styles and John Dance Jamaica Studios for your contribution. We recognize your work and what you have done to advance our industry. As we continue, I'm going to give you another bit of music at this point in time. We're halfway through. 
in fact, our honorees. And so, just to uh, continue the entertainment capital that we have for you this evening, let's welcome on stage, no stranger to you at all, great voice, great talent, great lyricist. Let's welcome Mr. Dwayne Stevenson. Bet you didn't know that I'd live without you I bet you didn't believe that I'd make it through no. Well if you thought this love would last forever baby, Then baby I've got news for you Oh baby I've got news for you Yes, I've got some news for you. I've got more for you. I'm not in love with you. I've been through the fire, through the rain. I am to love again. I love again. I bet you thought I'd never love again. Oh no, I bet you thought that I'd never face the pain. Yeah, yeah. What if you thought this love would last forever? Then, baby, I've got news for you. Oh, baby, I've got news for you. Yes, I've got some news for you. I've got more for you. I'm not in love with you. I've been to the fire to the rain. I live to love again. Yes, I love again. I love again. Good evening. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much. I mean, it's an occasion where we're honoring women. And trust me, no one likes to honor women more than men. Especially moi. Congratulations for all your achievements. Of course, it's monumental. You know what I mean? I can relate to especially Sister Nancy. Big, 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 big artist. You know what I mean? And of course, the maker of one of the movements you see today being our dance movement. Is currently, but generally right across the board. Congratulations, and hopefully, I can recognize someday in such a manner. You know what I mean? Whoa, 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 yeah. Oh, from a little cottage in the creek, yeah. I wrote these lines to you. Oh, my baby, you, you, and from a little cottage in the green, yeah, I realize I love you still. From a little cottage in the key, yeah, way down west in the grill, oh, this man sits, he sits pining for your love. And gee we I miss you And all my lips wanna kiss you I call you on the phone To my surprise you weren't at home But from a little cottage in the green hill Baby, I wrote these lines to you, baby And from a little cottage, little cottage Girl, I realize that I love you still Walk for the smoky chicken And some the roots are cooking Oh, some getting high Smoking sets in your pie Some get high Oh, burning up them chimpanzee But I go west to one side Set back the rich cafe, but from a distance 
Continue with our presentations in terms of Coric Queens of Reggae Island Honorary Ceremonies for 2016. So we get now to our fifth of eight honorees in all this evening. And again, let's go to the videotape. Miss Audrey Parkinson, trend setting fashion designer. Yes, I deserve this recognition because I've been doing this for over 30 years and I set the trend in downtown fashion and I'm not, I don't have a formal training in designing, I do it free-handed. To be exact, about 1984, I have this friend by the name of Gracie, her name is Dressmaker Gracie now. She was a dressmaker then and I was an hairdresser and I wanted to be a fashion designer from going to school and I used to buy a piece of material for her and one for me when we were going to parties and she would only make her dress and don't make mine. So what I do is get inside of my wardrobe, take out my dress, pull it out, put another piece of material, cut from it and make myself a dress. And from then, I'd be a star designer, I'm telling you. I design for loads and loads of artists, young girls, x kid, nice dresses. I love my job. I have loads and loads of customers. 
if they are going out to a special occasion and they don't want anybody to make their outfit unless it's Audrey Goodes and so on. They love I've loads of customers. I used to take their clothes to match their shoes. I, I couldn't go to my bed because I used to sew by my house. I was there hours a night in the morning. I would hear my door knock for someone for clothes to go out in the parties. So I really used really to love it and I was happy then. Now it's even better since I grow old because I get better in designing. You can go to my Instagram at Good as Design and you'll see my stuff. Or Facebook at Good as Parties and Fashion Designer. I thank you for, it, for giving me this award and recognition for my service throughout the years. And I'm so blessed and happy and thanking all my customers that supported me through the year. We would like to recognize Miss Audrey Farkerson and we invite Shelly Ann Hill to make that presentation for us. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so honored and I'm very happy. I'm elated. So, tonight I want to say a big thank you to Corey and the Night Nurse Pro. God bless and thank you. I'm Audrey Goodes, on all the fashion designer goodness forever and ever from 1984. Big Congratulations to you, Audrey Farkerson, for your work in the development and concretization of our culture, our way of being. It's, it, it is something that we sometimes take for granted and not realize that this is, this is the fabric, that's the word that I needed to look for, this is the fabric of of our culture and what we have become and how we have become what we became. We go now to our sixth honoree again. Let's go to the video. Radio station owner. Of the Million Woman March to get out as many people as possible. The mothers, get out the mothers, yeah? And a friend of mine was saying to me, um, why don't you have your own radio station? Because every home has a radio. So in that way you can speak to all the mothers you want to and it won't be physically impossible. So with the help of my daughter-in-law, Sunflower were able to get her license to operate Sun City Radio 2009. But because it's an expensive venture, we weren't able to start it about what, 2011? So it was uh, myself, Sunflower, and he calls himself We See My Third Child. We really got the station on air at the time. It started out as an online radio station and then we blossomed when we got through with Broadcasting Commission. And I remember one night in tears saying to myself, I'm sure there are other mothers out there who are having problems with their teenage boys. I would like somewhere or someone to talk to. So I came up with the Modern Crisis as a format for mothers who are going through issues that they can have somewhere to go to. The media is a wonderful thing because it allows you to extend your reach. And that is what I'm so happy about. If you think that every home has a radio, so you can speak to millions of people at one time, oh my God, it's such a blessing. What we do on for Sun City Radio is uh, three is education. Education, we believe in it so strongly because we believe that education is the way out of a poor life. So we stress education. You know, you're out there, you're doing your thing, you know, and to have somebody come and say to you, you know what, I've heard and see what you're doing and we want to award you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that is so humbling. I feel so humble to know that 
people, I mean strangers, not like a, it's a family member or a friend that can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are strangers coming to you and says, look, we've seen your work. Your work speaks for you and we want to reward you for your work. It, what can be more humbling than that? Let's welcome our sixth honoree, Miss Doreen Billings. And we'd like to ask Simone Martin to join us on stage for the presentation. Hey, so. far may I come from? Uh, a long time I want to meet you in a brethren. program was very educational. You used to learn a lot of stuff listening to Francois. Yeah. Very good. All right, here my whole oh Lord. Let me fix it. I am so, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so humbled, you know? Thank you, thank you, thank you my grand boys are here. They're up there somewhere. Yes. My <laughs> And of course, my siblings from out of the UK is here uh -huh. to come and see that. their siblings. And of course, my children somewhere up there. Yeah. And oh gosh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Colin. The first time I appeared on TV was on your program. Yes. Bob's you great. What can I say about you? I wish I could look as beautiful as you do. You really look great. Thank you all, thank you all, bam bam, sister Nancy. Yeah. The, the dancer, we can't manage the dancing, so I'm not even going to that. Well, thank you, and Dana Harris, love you so much. Mrs. Ross, all of those who are here to see me get my award. Whoa, what is this for me? <laughs> thank you guys so much, thank you. Congratulations to uh, Miss uh, Doreen Billings, our sixth honoree this evening. It couldn't be possible without the uh, sponsors who worked with us as we tried to put this together. The uh, first off, but hopefully we're going to be having many more. But at this point in time, I'd like to invite Laurel Nurse to come forward and make the thanks to the sponsors. Please welcome Laurel Nurse. Ooh, these bright lights. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming. Oh, yes. I love this audience. I want to say that uh, this concept of Coric was founded by myself. My name is Laurel Nurse. I'm a nurse by profession. I was born Laurel Nurse. My father's name is Victor Nurse. I sang over a song by Gregory Isaacs called Night Nurse. I formed a company named Night Nurse Pro. <laughs> the beneficiaries for this is uh, the Gregory Isaacs Foundation Charities for Children. And the connection was made because I had to get in touch with them to uh, have permission to sing over the Gregory Isaac song. So, you know, everything is so connected. And then, hi Dahlia. <laughs> and then, you know, the mission of Night Nurse Pro is to inspire, to nurture, and to entertain. Hence, Coric 2016. And Coric means Queens of Reggae Island Honorary Ceremonies which means, you know, Reggae Island is Jamaica. Too often our women go unnoticed and they do so much in the background for this industry. Our stylists, our makeup artists, our backup singers, our harmonizers, our, um, you name it, you know, it's, it's out there. Not just the people out front, but the people behind the scenes. And I'm happy to be a part of this and you should be happy to be a part of this because this is actually history. So, clap yourself. I want to thank everyone that was involved. Um, Robin Chin, he's a sponsor of Enhanced Realism. He's recording all of this and his uh, achievements in the videography industry in Jamaica is 
Excellent. So Robin, thank you. This is Mr. Chin. I want to thank um, also Remy Martin. Remy is our biggest sponsor in this event. And I must say, it looks small, but it's very big to me. Because for a first venture, to have a big sponsor like Remy Martin do the little bit that they did still means a lot to me. And then we have uh, beautiful Mystic Cosmetics who sponsored some cosmetics. She works downtown and she's the only one that does waxing in that vicinity. And she did those pretty little baskets and I want to say thank you to her. And then we have a painter, um, she's not here. Her name is uh, Zala, and she did some paintings that they've yet to get. You have lots more in store, you know. Don't think it was just these. You have so much more, and I have to tell you in front of everybody that um, a lot of things are gonna be retroactive for next year that others are gonna get that you didn't get to get, but you're gonna get it, and everyone's gonna know that you get it. So. This is big, and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and I want to thank you for being a part of Hey, This group of people here is not normal. <laughs> Clap if you agree. <laughs> and it's not over yet. We still have two more to go. I want to thank the mayor of Kingston, Miss Angela Brownberg, for you know, patronizing this event. It means a lot to me. She's a strong woman here in Jamaica. Oh, by the way, I live between um, New Jersey and Jamaica, so if you hear a little accident, it's, that's why. <laughs> and I'd like to um, thank the ministry. Miss Grange, thanks for being here. You accepted, and it means a, a lot to me that the government is here on this for Coric. Please talk about the government not supporting. They are here. And they're going to, next year, watch and see how big it's going to be. Right, Miss Grange? <laughs> all right. I'd also like to thank um, Hype TV, RETV, all the radio stations that didn't charge me anything. <laughs> um, oh, my. The list is so much. Um, even though they think they're small, the list is much. Cool FM. Thank you. Thank you, Cool FM. Thanks, Sun City Radio. Um, thank Scan for being here, the pho our photographers. Um, did I leave out anybody? Hmm? Oh yes, thank everyone that's involved, um, all the presenters. You guys look great and wonderful. And I must say, when this idea came about, I didn't have one negative reaction to it. Everyone was so happy about it. All the honorees. My greatest fear was Miss Grange not being here. And she's standing, not standing, sitting right in front of me. What better honor? I mean, everyone's great. But you know Miss Grange is, Miss Diva. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Anyway, I want to thank also, where am I? Junior, Mr. Junior Lincoln, for putting this production for me together. This is great. This is great. This is not a small venture that's going on right here. The production. And he believed in me that this could be something great for Jamaica, something great for our women of Jamaica, that it's, um, it's time has come. You know, we talk a lot and we don't do anything. And this is actually started. Like I said, this is history. This not going to win. This just started. So clap yourselves again. <laughs> I'd like to thank Hype TV for being here also. It's a wonderful sponsor for this event. Okay, so let's get the show on the road. Please forgive me if I forgot anybody. Okay, forgive me. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Keisha. Keisha's Total Image um, Spa on Red Hills Road. She's also a sponsor of this event, and I'd like to thank her. So, let's keep this party going, and thanks again, Miss Nurse. This is HMP TV. We are with Laurel Nurse. 
Now, I didn't expect to come to this event today. You know, we've been in Jamaica, we've been filming lots of aspects of Jamaica so we can show to the UK, Jamaica in a very positive light, show the beautiful things, what's happening in Jamaica. And to come here today and end up in such a beautiful event, which is not necessarily the event, but the ethos of the event in regards to women and yeah. the acknowledgement of women yeah. it is you know fantastic because there's such a movement right now where women need to be put on their pedestal not by men it's not our job you know women <laughs> women need to take that back yes we do you know and, yes. and the thing is you have been taking it back it just hasn't been acknowledged so for right. you to acknowledge it today fantastic what really was the motivating force what if you, you saw what was missing what was it you know maybe childhood experiences your working experiences what was it what made you decide i need to address this issue right now because um, I've been around in the industry as a singer myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big um, celebrated singer. Mm -hmm. But what happens is I've, I've, um, my nursing field, we assess. So in assessing, I realized that there's so many women around that are doing mm -hmm. so much and nobody's recognizing f them for it. Mm -hmm. And they're like the backbone, you know, the support system for the industry. So I said, we need something that supports our women because like I said, we're doing so much and only a few get celebrated and there's so many others. So I decided to come up with CORIC, which means Queens of Reggae Island Honorary Ceremony. And what it does is recognizes women for their contribution to the industry, the entertainment industry of Jamaica and also the creative industry of Jamaica because we, it's it's good for to our self esteem mm -hmm. to know that we're not there we're not just being used mm -hmm. and that we're needed and appreciated so coric hence coric 2016 and it's going to be 17 18 19 for years to come with with the um, the nominees that you had with the awards that you're giving out they was given out to such poignant uh, people, you know, the selection was phenomenal. Thank you. And, um, you know, their impact. And these are things, you know, I was totally unaware. Some of the stuff I was aware of, a lot of it I wasn't. And it was a learning experience for me, you know, to carry back and to share with the UK. With 16, you've got 17, 18, 19, 20 and onwards. Yes. Will it just stay amongst the regular industry or would you branch out to other aspects of the great things what women I've done. I know it could be thinking far ahead, That's but fine. I think someone definitely has to definitely has to take it. So you know, you've got experience under your belt now. No, it's just it's not just the um, reggae industry, mm -hmm. but I call it reggae island mm -hmm. because it's Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So you know, re reggae uh, ties in with the industry, mm -hmm. but it's not. Um, dedicated to just reggae. Mm -hmm. For instance, Miss Dorian Billing, she got a, a award for being a radio station owner. Mm -hmm. It's not really that a radio station owner has anything to do with reggae. It's mm -hmm. the fact that she's a woman that's mm -hmm. doing stuff in the industry. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's going to be a wide, 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 wide category for women for years to come. But maybe we can squeeze in a lot of women who have maybe J Jamaican descent okay. from the diaspora because there's mm -hmm. lots of women so in many. the UK and Canada mm -hmm. and the USA. Yes. And it would be great if they, they was acknowledging what was being done over here, maybe coming out and getting that involved and helping taking it to another level. That would be absolutely great. I can see that you see big things for Cork already because you're 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 seeing it, and I th that's what I love about it. The idea is so great. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I haven't had any um, bad response. It's mm -hmm. all been positive, and for the first year that it's such a big deal that all these uh, dignitaries and mm -hmm. important people came out to it for a little nurse that mm -hmm. had the idea. It's really great. It shows that we are lacking it, and we want it, and we're hungry for it, and we appreciate it, and it's here. Well, we'll definitely be putting this date in our calendar, so we'll be looking to make our way over here this time next year to... It was big. For, for our first event, it was big. And so I won't say bigger and greater. Um, I'll say... I don't know what to say. I just know <laughs> it's just going to be phenomenal. And we want to get involved. And what we're going to do, we're going to try and push this as much as we can in the UK, uh, make people aware of... Uh, this in the UK and get yes. them to support it and maybe yes. next year all the women over there that has anything to do with the entertainment mm -hmm. industry though you're not going to be left out you're a part of it too well maybe next year we can be over here and have the streaming uh, set up so we can actually stream live to the UK and that's something we maybe can discuss behind closed doors and see how we can make sure the UK get a chance to see something so phenomenal and maybe inspire those in the UK to do the same thing so we can take the nurse team worldwide <laughs> and go heal the world eh? <laughs> Oh, you think? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is HMP TV. I'd like to thank you for your great work and, you know, we just wish you all the best. And I'd also like to say thanks to my sister, Shoshani, standing right there on the side, who invited me over, to the, over here to do um, 
the great work. So with that, peace, we're out of here, helping my people television, HMP TV, peace. Thank you very much, Laurel Nurse, for doing the recognition of the sponsors. We'd also like to make mention of Clear Sound, who have provided the audio for us, and so we'd like to thank them very much for the work that they have done in making tonight's presentation. There are so many people, as you can imagine, any kind of show like this, there are going to be a number of people that you really want to make mention of, and somebody is going to get left out. <laughs> we, we, I, what I'm going to do is make sure that we make up as we go along. We're almost there. We have gotten through six honorees out of the eight that we're going to be doing this evening. Before we get to the final two, we have a performance by a group that you know, you've seen, they're performed for you. Name change, turn it around, and uh, they're back again. So, I'm gonna go with the new name, and you will go with the people that you know and understand and appreciate. They're gonna be out here right now. Let's welcome Kingston Rock Quartet. and family and all these lovely ladies who so deserving of whatever this um how are them we all deserve it how we know that they start from 1976 from selfish and shingle old stuff you don't know that for years you know and it starts and it's still here and i'm still continuing the journey with all the ladies who involved you now i mean in the record music as a female dj you know no unity no more yeah. no they they divide the thing and i tell them back in my, the days with my time it was loving time, because you only have four, four women DJ at a time. When I came, it was just me. But after a while, some women joined into, and you know, we used to go everywhere together. We share, 
if you better work and me not get none, we share the money. Sometimes at fifty dollar, we share the money. We never have no limousine to pick us up. Because we weren't that fortunate at the time. We didn't, I mean, I can't come. We never have no limousine. And um, so our limousine was the, um, to bomb the ride on Dr. Three Mile to go to West Milan. So we'll bomb right from Three Mile to Punish Town, Punish Town to Ola, but Ola by Tom Mandeville. Mandeville goes straight down to Santa Cruz. And then we, sometimes uh, 19 different people are carried. But we're reaching at the party, we're reaching at the dance. And it's all of us talking. You pass the mic to me, I pass it on to you. And if we get a fifty dollar, we should come back to town. We go, we go buy a pretty skirt. Come fifty dollar, I don't want for money at the time. You know, I'm talking about seventy nine. Cause those ladies, some of the ladies come at seventy nine, but I start at seventy six. You know, and I have to give thanks to my brother, Brigadier Jerry, for setting the pace for me and still setting this for me. And I um, appreciate what um, Corey has done because they recognize greatness. I'm a great. And great is great. You can't hear that. You see that? <laughs> you see that? So, you know, you know and Father God Himself, because without Him, nothing is possible. Nothing is possible without Him. So, you know, say, Him, I have an at everything. And all the women, you know, all the women, because you don't know, say, a grassroots thing, and all the way I got to dance a long time. Carleen, Hadri, the whole way we buck up all the time I dance. So, you don't know that. You know, that's why I said to my friends and family, then, just big up on yourself. Big up yourself, Shandy Deluxe, and all my niece, them. But they play Bam Bam, come on, do Bam Bam for them. Play Chula, play with him, huh? Play Saga like that. Play Saga, I can do the Bam Bam for them. Ready? The team for the Bam Bam, the kids all over the Bam Bam. You know, you're starting from the bottom. You know, you're going to say, Shama. The team for the bam bam, dedicated to our original man, and the even style of the You know? To me, say one thing on them, see me can't understand. To one thing on them, see me can't understand. Women could have not talked about me on the shop. Some women could have not talked about me on the shop. How to some of them are ox, we are in the bed to them bright. To them are ox, we are in the bed to them to them don't know it's from creation but I told them don't know it's from creation Grand Slam to my woman I'm seeing your number one to my mom 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 to Nancy, me can't understand. Tell one thing, and Nancy, me can't understand. What they could have not talk about me on the show. Someone they could have not talk about me on the show. And I said, Some of them are hawks, me are where we get it from. To them are hawks, me are where we get it from. And to them, no, no, it's from creation. And to them, no, no, it's from creation. Bam, 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 bam. Sister Nancy, you never give us one, two. There's a lot more in that treasure chest. You want some more? Sister Nancy! Sister Nancy! I, I hear what
we don't have uh, we don't have the tracks. Should we do it a cappella? All right. Anything that we can get, we can get just just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Please hear me. Thank you very much. Um, we don't know originality. We can't change it up now, money. Can we don't mix that look now, blend it. You know that. Have mercy. Have mercy. Hi, 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 hi. Now she tell me, oh, can't run down like me. You know why? It new, original. Original, this is originality. I'm rich, 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 rich. Just tell me, oh, can't run down like me. You better tell me, 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 tell Me and daddy guidance of his majesty tell me who can run down sound like me. You know why? Now it's a friend, you know. <laughs> me always get what I want and what I need. If for your youth walk, it must have fitted. You have some DJ, them a real crossbreed. But I and I come from the Brigadier State. Tell me who can run down sound like me. Original, original. This is originality. Original, 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 original. I said, I said, Nancy Bond and she go in a Kingston six. Nancy right, the Christmas lyrics so when you hear them, they sound like a bit with Mr. Kid. They say you come a court girl to tell your brother and snake to a banda, to a da. See, I see, I am through with you, tell him. Sister Nancy, our eighth honoree and our special guest performance, can we have a round of applause for her, please? So, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen what we've been trying to do uh, this evening. We'd like to say a big thank you to uh, Corey and their vision of uh, honoring all of these ladies. We have to say thanks to RETV, to Scan Media, Vision TV, and Newspaper out of Canada. These are all people that we've been asked to uh, make mention of. Queens of Reggae Island Honorary Ceremonies 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for being a part of this. And keep it in mind, and keep the people in mind, the people who we have honored. As I said before, the fabric of Jamaican culture, you heard it's going back to the 70s, the 80s. What has made our dance hall and reggae culture what it is today? That was a turning point and these women were part of that and made it happen. And we honor them. We thank you all very much for being here. We hope you had yourself a very good evening. And we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.